Hi everybody, Scott Dallas at South Georgia Bass and, and welcome back to the channel. And today, it's kind of gonna be something a little different going on here and you're gonna be wondering what in the world's going on? I am supposed to be on the lake fishing. But what we're doing, I don't know if you watched the previous video, but to give you a little brief summary, uh, South Georgia Bassin, exactly what the title says, South Georgia Bassin, We've been fishing one lake and one lake only because this boat, Old Red, has been in the boathouse, which you're familiar with some of these shots on the tackle wall with the boat sitting in the lake. Well, South Georgia Bassin has a name, South Georgia. I started Googling South Georgia lakes and come up with this idea, we need to hit the road. Uh, I've been fishing the same lake for three years and there are several reasons for this. We'll get into that later. Uh, a little bit of politics, a little bit of jealousy, a little bit a lot of plain stupidity. But anyway, we're not gonna get in on that because this is a positive channel. And the positive thing is, is we're fixing to get into some trophy bass and some new waters. And we're gonna do exactly what our title says, South Georgia Bassin. We're gonna hit South Georgia, and in some instances, uh, North Florida. Reason being is, new series coming an hour and a half from here. That's right, South Georgia Bassin, hour and a half from here. We're gonna explore lakes I've never fished before. I've always wanted to fish. Uh, I'm not getting any younger and it's time. So we're gonna do just what our title says, South Georgia Bassin. We're gonna hit the road, cover South Georgia, in some cases, North Florida, uh, because I, we're right on the Georgia-Florida line. If you're on I-75 in the state of Georgia, uh, Valdosta, where we're located, is central Georgia, right in the middle right on um, I'm 10 minutes from the Florida line, 15 minutes. So we're gonna hit some North Florida lakes as well, which are an hour and a half from here. Uh, we got lakes here locally we're gonna be fishing and lakes uh, an hour and a half from here. Uh, some 30 minutes, some one hour, and we might stretch that a little bit. Uh, but we'll get into that later. What we're doing today is making a few changes to the boats, doing some upgrades and uh, to get it road ready. And uh, cause this baby, when I bought this old 16 foot tracker, I bought it for one specific reason, uh, to fit in one Pacific boathouse in one Pacific lake. And uh, since we're fixing to hit the road and start trailering it and doing more things, I'm doing some upgrades uh, that, that need to be done for hitting the road. Like it's obvious, you know, no spare tire was not one needed at the time. Now we need one. Uh, today what I'm doing, uh, cause I'm going to, to do a few things, uh, is put, I took the single wheel, single wheel jack that that came with the boat because it's not really easy to roll with that one wheel. And we're upgrading to this Fulton dual wheel. Getting that put on there. I hadn't tried it yet. I'm just now started mounting it. And I said, well, you know, there's some people that might want to see if this does make a difference. It's easy to roll. So this is just kind of a little brief video on the Fulton trailer jack. Uh, I'll have a link in the description below. Uh, this is it, Fulton. Single wheel, single wheel versus dual wheel. Now, by no means do I have a big heavy boat. Um, it's just a 16 foot tracker, 2019 model, bought it new. Uh, and this is a 1500 pound jack, which is kind of an overkill, but what I'm going for is the wheels. That is 
those babies. But where I'm parking it back here at my shop, uh, I need to push it back in here along the driveway, back into the shop parking area and around back some of my work bands. So a little pushing involved and I'm trying to make it easier. So we're gonna see if the single wheel versus the dual wheel, I read reviews, uh, I really spent some time researching this because I didn't want to spend a hundred or two hundred dollars on a and a not even easier to push. So all the views were mixed, reviews were mixed. So this is going to be a straightforward, uh, truthful review. So let's finish mounting it and uh, then we'll see how it pushes. trying to mount it up close to as I can get to the wrench bracket so I can save room I want to try to put a spare tire mount here instead of on the side of the boat underneath here out of the way protect it keep the boat trailer as near as possible I haven't really done any measuring. I just kind of said this looks like a good spot. It's not a whole lot to it, it's just four bolts. But when it comes time to use it, it does mean a lot. Definitely want to make sure it's on there good. All right. What well, I do notice right off the bat, this trailer is, this lift is uh, way more heavy duty looking than the one that came on the trailer, new from the tractor. I don't know the exact actual lifting height but from the length of this it should be way more than enough to get it up to our towing vehicle all right it's easy lifting that's for sure Now for the big test. Oh, yeah, you notice that wheel turns the way I wanted it to go. So I can tell already without really moving it, this is a huge improvement. All right, for the real test, we're gonna just reel it Oh, see, that's what I like already. The wheels turn the way I pull it. Let me see if I can show you a little better. What I can tell already, what I like is when I pull my trailer out from where I need to pull it, when I'm pulling it, the wheels actually turn, pull to the left, turn to the right, pull to the left. The wheels actually turn the way I tell them to turn, just by my tug. 
so that's what I wanted to accomplish because if you have the old single wheel, you know what I'm talking about. It, it drags across the pavement. It will not, it would not turn the way you're pulling your trailer. So mission accomplished 100% improvement. And what I did notice just now, uh, pulling this up here, it had something on it I didn't know. It has a grease fitting also here. So you can keep it lubed. Water and stuff won't rust it out. Keep it lubed up, keep it operating smooth. So already this was a game changer right here for getting the trailer in and out of the shop area where I store it and keep it, it stays covered. And uh, mission accomplished. So if you got a smaller boat, 16, 17, even 18 foot that you do trailer uh, quite a bit and roll it around to get it in put up, highly suggest getting rid of the old single wheel going with the dual wheel. This particular brand is a Fulton and from what I can see just mounting it, of course it's a simple do-it-yourself do yourself project upgrade. 100% uh, recommend it. We'll see, we'll keep up with the durability of it but from what I could tell already uh, all the reviews were good on that. I'll have a link uh, down below in the description section uh, to, uh, where I purchased it on Amazon. I believe it was $113. So small investment for, I would have paid way more for this, the quality of it. Uh, free shipping, link down below. Uh, if you do need a dually wheel and want to make that upgrade, you won't be sorry, trust me. I'm able to steer it back and forth as I'm pulling it or pushing it. The wheel turns, it don't hang up. Uh, with the dual wheels, it'll help you on roughly any surface. And if you do need one, you wanna purchase one, I'll have a link down below. Uh, click through the link straight to Amazon and we would appreciate it. It helps us, helps us keep the lights on and the gas in the motor and keep this free fishing content coming. So appreciate you watching and we'll see you on the next one. Take care, tight lines. Oh, 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 oh,